Hi, this is Mike doing a quick video on my thoughts for the setup of the Futaba 401 Gyro with the Align T-Rex 450 helicopter. Um, right now I have my uh, radio open to its sub trim page and as you can see there's zero sub trim in the rudder and uh, I'll plug in my heli and initialize in heading hold mode. And as you can see I have my uh, pitch slider to set to center of the tail output shaft and I get full deflection either way in heading hold mode and when I flip over to rate mode it's the same thing I get full deflection either way no binding in either direction and uh, and here's what I was saying about the sub trim I, I found that if I program in around 50 rudder sub trim that's where it hovers perfectly in rate mode and uh, I don't think it binds still in either direction. I'll unplug my helicopter, flip over to heading hold mode, and reinitialize so it, the, the gyro uh, picks up that new center position. <clears throat> and here we are in heading hold mode. You can see the red light right there. Um, the tail output shaft is definitely where I programmed it. You can see it's closer to the uh, tail assembly right there. And as I move the stick in either direction, you'll notice I still get full deflection either way. Exactly how I had set up mechanically. And it, and it still returns to where I had it set up in rate mode for the perfect hover. There's rate mode again. You can see it's the same. It's definitely not at the center of the tail output shaft anymore. And as I move the rudder stick, you can see it still gets full deflection without binding either way. You would definitely think that having 50 would at least cause some binding on the uh, up against the tail assembly, but it's but it's not. And I can hover perfectly in rate mode or heading hold mode. I get I get full deflection. And that's about it. Thanks for watching.